All right, we're just about to uh, start. We're at uh, County Road 343, I believe, right off the Temperance River, and we're going to be doing about uh, 40 miles to uh, kind of right by Cascade River State Park, um, the parking trail off, of, uh, I think it's 43 there. So, um, we're going to do about 11 miles today, and uh, we've got, there's with me is my dad in the blue, and my father in law, no, in the uh, camo garb. And uh, my dad is, uh, this is his first time out, so we'll see how it goes. Sponsored by Lando Lakes, it looks like here. Dean <laughs> Foods, okay. Minus 40 and counting. Yep, 40 some miles. miles. We'll be heading right down the Temperance River. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Alright, we're hiking up Carlton Peak right now. It's uh hiking, we're mountain climbing. It's pretty cool. Alright, we made it on top of uh, Carlton Peak. And it's uh it's quite the view. They had an old tower up here at some point. So the foundation. Right by Carlton Peak, just the other side. All right, we're uh, kind of past Britain Peak parking lot and uh, kind of going through a bunch of maples area. A lot of leaves have already fallen off the trees. We kind of missed peak colors, but it's uh, October 9th right now. So I think just the end of September is probably peak, but still beautiful today. It's about 50 degrees. We should have a low of about, uh, 30, 35, something like that. So, uh, having a good time. The guys behind are doing fine. Springdale Creek. All right, we decided to uh, cut it a little bit short and uh, we found campsite. We got the free hammock set up. And uh, we've got uh, my dad's rig here, first time. And uh, we got him in porch mode, the Hennessy tarp, the hex tarp, and then he's got an Inu. And he's gonna use the uh, down mat. It should get down about 30 degrees or so tonight. So, figure that might work for him. And we've got John's. He's got the blackboard war bonnet and the uh, war bonnet with a superfly. He's got the doors. And then. I'm using the old man winter tarp tonight, so it also has doors and um, a Hennessy hyperlight, I believe. And I've got a homemade wind uh, under quilt protector, a homemade top quilt, and a homemade uh, under quilt. So that's that's basically it. It's kind of the surroundings. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
All right, we made it through the night. It was a low of probably about 34, 33, something like that. And uh, now we're making coffee and uh, some oatmeal. I'm having a pop tart. How was your uh, first day, first night in the hammock? Real good, he says. This is uh, John's uh, system. I'll have him show how that works a little later. So I'm just using the uh, cat stove. It's an natured alcohol. And we got to make up some miles today that we didn't do uh, yesterday. So it'll be a big day. It's a miracle I can see. You can be wrong when you're right, even when you're right on cue. What's the stove here you have yeah, called? We got the bush cooker light three here from Don's Lollius. Four dog. Four dog. And we're trying to go the whole trip all four days without anything but wood. So far so good. Yeah, so how does it work John? It's, it, Just uh, load her up with a few twigs and uh, a little birch bark. And, Started with the uh, cotton ball, the the wind the Vaseline, the way it goes. The theory is it, it uh, somehow kind of double, uh, double burns or something. Uh, it burns hotter. It burns hotter. Well, uh, yeah, well, last night for you. Just got to get the wood and yeah, that's a little extra step. But more time in the woods. We run out of the, the nature of alcohol, we might be running over to this guy. <laughs> that looks good. All right, we're in between Lavoie Mountain, that's how you pronounce it, and uh, Oberg Mountain. Beautiful day again, sun's out, a little bit of breeze, probably 40s probably right now. And, uh, gorgeous day. Oh yeah, the Onion River. We're heading up Moose Mountain. She's quite steep. You can see here. It just kind of keeps going up. It's been going up for a while. And then I guess it's back down and then back up Mystery Mountain after that. So it's kind of a tough part. Tough part of the section. <laughs> and then inside. Heading down to the back side of uh, Mystery Mountain, right by Lutzen. Kind of see the, uh, the lodge or some uh, hotels or apartments right by there, and, and it's going pretty well. Looks like we're coming to a campsite here. Mystery Mountain Multi Group Camps. Here's the uh, Poplar River, I believe. And that's, I think, loops and something or other in the background. Here's the other side. I don't know if I'm scared of dying, but I'm scared of living too fast, too slow. Regret, remorse, hold on. No, no, I've got to go. There's no starting over, no new beginning. Time raises on. You just got to keep on. Well, we made it, uh, called it for the day, and uh, we're going to stay at the East Poplar 
sites. And um, it's pretty nice. It's right on the river, the Poplar River. And uh, we're ready for some food. It's a little chilly out. Uh, I'm not sure exactly, but I'll check on it. But, uh, we have a little tent, a little tent city here going. Uh, we're all pretty close uh, tonight. Could have hung it over there as well, but uh, the wind's kind of blowing that way, and we're gonna make a fire. So hopefully, we won't get any damage to the tarps. John, how's it going? Fantastic. Nice. Dad, how are you doing? <laughs> so the site is uh, right on the river, so beautiful. And we made another night. It uh, got down to 27, 28, somewhere in there. Uh, a little colder than we were expecting. <laughs> Everything's frosted up. Uh, got pretty cold last night. So we're gonna pack up and try to get going and get moving because we just got uh, kind of little gloves and doesn't quite do it. For 28. So, oh, we made it. We're keep on keeping on. surgery here oh yeah in the field clean hands <laughs> there we go what we got another one here not quite as uh might be ready tonight huh We made it to Lake Agnes. It's beautiful, beautiful place. Hunter's Rock Trail Registry. John, Dad, doing fantastic, Darren. Real good. Fantastic. Yo. Wow, doesn't get any better than that. We stopped here for some lunch. Might be a little windy at times, like it is today, but it sure is great. We sat here on this rock and had lunch. Healthy truck to get up here. There's a John Vick Creek boardwalk. Very nice. We got a little beaver dam over here. Big one.
Again, this is the Indian River Creek campsite. It's a multi-group site. Down here is the second whole um, campfire area where we kind of took, decided to take. So we've got uh, John's rig there. And we've got firewood. And uh, my dad's going to hit the ground tonight. Going to try that. Put the X-pad on the ground. And I'm parked off over here, right down by the creek. Well, it's 9.42 and um, just heading to bed. I'm not sure if you can hear the uh, the creek right next to me or not, but um, it's super awesome. So that's that's my noisemaker for tonight, and uh, hopefully uh, it's supposed to get down. I don't know, cold again. So it's already getting close to uh, freezing, and um, hopefully I stay warm. Last night it wasn't so warm, so hope it goes better than last night. And uh, we've got about five miles or so to hike out um, on Sunday. So it's been a great trip so far. Hope I hope I don't freeze. We're up. We had more frost last night. Dad was on the ground. Again, I'm over on this side of the stream, so you can see there's plenty of frost. So it was below freezing. 28, backpack, uh, let's see here, yeah, that's iced up. All right, just finished uh, coffee, and uh, you can see that's the, uh, where the other guys are sleeping over there. And uh, I walk down the trail and I cross over, over here. Little babbling brook, the Indian Creek, I think it's called it. Cascade Creek. Here we're at the 96 stairs, I think is what it's called. Up by Cascade River State Park. Here's the Cascade River. Had a nice hike right along the edge of the, the river here. A little mountain climbing here.
Not bad.